Sadness, anger, and anxiety, common emotions we may feel following tragedies like we saw in Illinois. Arena Rodriguez joins us now live in the studio. Arena, you spoke with some experts on how to cope with these feelings and the difficult conversation that may come with them, right? Yeah, that's right, Pat. Those are all common feelings one might experience after learning about a mass casualty, and that can affect our behavior in public places. Seeking help is important. You can never really know what's going to happen. It's either live in fear and stay inside or go out and still try and enjoy life. Mass shootings happening across the country can take a toll on our mental health. Experts say we don't have to experience these events directly for them to affect us. We kind of experience some of that vicariously, right? And we can't help but kind of put ourselves into that, um, like that template, if you will. You know, what if this happened to me or... You know, am I in a place or an area like where this um, where this scenario could play out? Simply hearing about them can have an emotional impact, potentially affecting the way we behave. The worry of becoming a victim. I think I worry more about my kids in school um, and maybe from time to time, like if we go out. Experts say to be mindful of the amount of information you're taking in every day. It's not that you're denying what's happening. It's not that you're acknowledge, you know, not acknowledging it or running from it, but you really got to kind of have a balance because that can be so, it can be draining and exhausting and very traumatic whenever we're constantly inundated with these things. Jeremy Flores is taking additional measures to make sure his family is safe, remaining vigilant of his surroundings. I think people should just be prepared. Um, I'm a gun activist, so I do carry at times. Um, if I'm out with my wife and my son, it is usually on me. Um, kind of just stay wary, look around, someone acting odd report it. It is normal to feel like the world is less safe right now. So how do we navigate that feeling? We just kind of have to do our best with how we take care of ourselves and how we approach it. And I'm not saying to be insensitive with it, but you can't let it consume you. There's only so much we can do with it from where we're at. Now, while it is a common to have a range of emotions following an event like a mass shooting, be aware of the warning signs that you may need extra help coping with your feelings and seek that help as needed. Reina Rodriguez, Chris 6 News.